Have you ever imagined what it would be like to be a bird? You know what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dialogue where movies are more than mindless entertainment. Mm -hmm. I'm Derek and this is Andrew. What's up, people? If you don't know us already, you should. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, welcome to our review of right. the movie Angry Birds. Mm. This movie is, as we've talked about, the first movie that's been based on an app for mobile devices uh, that I can remember. Yeah, basically the plot is the same as the video game. You got these birds, they're angry <laughs> because some pigs stole their eggs. End now, of story. <laughs> now, forgive me, I have played the video game, but I've not spent significant time in developing my skills and playing it uh, right. addictively. So is that the actual, is that what the video game storyline? That is the storyline. That is the thing. Okay. Is that pigs are stealing eggs. Okay. And uh, birds are angry about it. Cool. <laughs> I guess uh, we can work with that, or at least whoever uh, produces Paramount Pictures, Sony Pictures. Uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, Columbia. 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 Columbia Pictures. Columbia can work with that. I uh, have a few thoughts on this film. Mm -hmm. I'll say this. It was better than I expected it to be. It was better than I expected it to be. I was kind of figuring another video game movie that was kind of, you know... Just trash, <laughs> um, or or at the very least, not anything enthralling, That's not anything to game movie, not anything to write home about. But it was okay, and I feel like uh, a lot of the reviews I've been hearing that kind of diss it are not exactly truthful. Um, so the story was okay; it was kind of a stitched together thing. But I okay. felt like it flowed. I feel like the story flowed, and the pacing was all right. Um, I will say some of the jokes fell flat for me. And it didn't yeah. for them. But a lot of them, I feel like 80% of them, uh, I had a great time with. And I yeah. laughed out loud at a lot of them. Uh, that being said, I should also point out that some of the humor uh, is a little bit more crude. Yes. More than what I was expecting. So if there's a line, yeah. if there's a line between like humor that is more mature and just adults would laugh at over kids, it does that too. But then it kind of crosses the line and flirts with it a little bit. And some of the humor wasn't exactly, in my opinion, tasteful. Um, right. So there's that. Also, I want to point out two different things. Uh, one of them might be a little bit spoilerish, so uh, I'll, I'll prepare you for that, though. The, the other thing that I want to mention, though, that's not really a spoiler, is that the birds are angry. Okay? You know this. This is in the title. But I want to say that there was kind of like this message. That's, that's a big part of why we do the dialogue. We want to talk about like uh, the messages that come across and just what we get from the film. And there was this quote that was mentioned a few times that was something like anger isn't always the solution I think was the quote um, mm -hmm. and obviously this guy's struggling with anger I would say there's a difference between anger and what I might call so yeah anger and then something I might call like being zealous or being passionate or or being so intense about how you care about something that provokes you to action there's a difference between those. I feel like anger is never the solution. Okay? Uh, I feel like anger is never the solution, although... I'm a, I'll comment on that. Okay, you can comment on that. Yeah, I want to know what you think, because um, I feel like there may be some in this category over here that's, that's, that is the option, uh, that is the solution sometimes, and this is good. I feel like maybe okay. you can call that anger. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's, there's a category for that in my mind. But I feel like the movie didn't distinguish between the two is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I feel like after you watch the movie you need to have the you need to you need to think about, alright, is there a line between anger that's unhelpful and like a passion or for lack of a better word. Okay. Um passion. Because I mean I won't spoil the movie, but they anger isn't the issue. anger doesn't solve problems sometimes and sometimes it seems like it does, or at least they try to make it seem like it does and and I I don't fault it for that. I just say there's more discussion to be had there. The other thing, which is another interesting thing that I kind of like and don't like, and this is where there might be some light spoilers. So if you want to skip ahead, do that by clicking on the annotation. But there's this figure that people look up to in the film. Oh, yeah. Of the, this, this character of the eagle, 
okay? And I loved this. I love this aspect of the movie. There's like this character, he's all buff in all these posters, and then when they finally get to meet him later on in the film, he's this like wasted old guy in this <laughs> mountaintop just living for himself. That's not going to save you. And I feel like the movie brings out this, uh, the goodness of having your belief in, in a false god or false idol dashed. Okay? I really right. like that. I will say, though, that the movie also, instead of saying, um, don't look up to these people because they, they will let you down, it also then again goes and redirects it to basically your, the common believe in yourself type, type message, which I wouldn't necessarily... Um, I wouldn't necessarily hold to either. I think there's a lot of discussion to be had there, or, or at least that's not the final answer, in my opinion. But so interesting themes there, mm -hmm. Inter actually interesting discussion, along with good laughs. So that was, was all right film. It's something that I'm gonna say, going back to one of your yeah. comments about uh, anger is never the right answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but zealous. Uh, uh, so yeah, the Lord in the Bible, mm -hmm. just to kind of bring this full right. circle, is right. angry in a just way. Right. And then also right. there's the there's the command be angry and do not sin. Mm. That's true. That's true. So, so I think that's... I think there's a righteous anger that's right, right. And I think what happens in this movie where their eggs, oh. their children are stolen from them, mm -hmm. and then they have to go out and retrieve these from these pigs, right. which right, are basically right. acting like little devils. Mm -hmm. You could basically say that that yeah. is a righteous anger. This is true. This is justice. You know this what I'm saying? True. This is true. Um, which is interesting because I thought that it did make a distinction between what was right anger and what okay. was wrong anger. Okay. Because the whole movie, he's getting angry at, like, basically yeah. pity stuff kind of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, well, here's something to actually be truly angry about. And mm -hmm. they're like, you're right. We should have saw this the whole right. time. Mm -hmm. And then they change their perspective on it. And it's like, this is a good time to be angry. And right. so they're all tra training to be like, or at least be fierce be and be, yeah, be, be about angry this. about this thing. Right. Yeah. Um, Get uptight about it. Move to action. Right. Uh, which I thought was good. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, I did have I did have fun with it. There was like some humor in it that was like, uh, is that really necessary? There's there's cultural humor in it too, like just things that you'll see around that I was like, it, it made me laugh. Like maybe it's not the right things to be laughing about, but it, it was funny in its own way. Um, <laughs> So one of the things that I saw was like there's there's these pigs that are driving this one vehicle and on the back of it there's like this coexist uh, <laughs> sticker. <laughs> I and, think I missed that. And for some reason it just made me laugh. Like I was just like, <laughs> of course. Uh, which if you watch the movie there's like this part where the pigs and the birds are living together and I don't know. It just it was funny to oh, cultural man. like reference. It's hilarious. Um, it's hilarious. But yeah, just like little things like that that are kind of mm -hmm. more catered towards adults. I think that they'll appreciate that about the movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, I mean, I enjoyed the movie. There's things that I didn't enjoy, but I did like the themes of it. I thought it was, I thought it was an alright movie. I really don't necessarily know what to rate it as far as rating goes. I feel like either six or seven. Um, and because of uh, some of my conflict on it, mm -hmm. uh, as, yeah, and, that, and, and, and it being kind of more of a fluff movie, uh, not, not completely, but I'm, I'll give it a six. I'll, I'll, I'll say six. Okay. I'm going to say that I'm going to give it a 7. Okay. Uh, I actually enjoyed it. I took my yeah. kid to see this movie, and he seemed to enjoy it, too. Uh, a lot of things probably went over his head in terms of mm -hmm. some of those more adult jokes, like I was saying. But mm -hmm. I enjoyed the movie, and uh, it seemed like he enjoyed it, too. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Uh, let us know if you agree, disagree, or have more things you can add, because we like the dialogue between us and you guys. Yeah. Uh, on that note, join the dialogue by subscribing, mm -hmm. and tune in next time on the dialogue.